News 46, local coverage you can count on. Prompt Nugget is excited to announce October's Pumpkin Patch Match Promotions. Every Friday and Saturday, every 30 minutes from 5 to 8.30 p.m., one hot seat winner will win $100. At 9, one of those winners will play Pumpkin Patch Match for $10,000. Looking for the best place in town to watch Monday Night Football? Look no further. We've got all the NFL action you need. For only $10, you'll enjoy a complimentary buffet, five raffle tickets for great prizes, Coors and Coors Light on tap for only a dollar. Where the fun never stops, Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Sure, um, Food for Thought is an educational program. What we do is we send home backpacks full of food with the students every Friday so that they can eat all weekend long and come back Monday with a full stomach and ready to learn. A lot of the students here in Pahrump, um only eat breakfast and lunch at school and when they go home they don't get to eat dinner and then they don't eat all weekend long which makes it really impossible for them to concentrate on what they're learning on Mondays. Um, so we've taken care of that with the backpack program and, and hopefully they will get a better education for it. And we've got about 400 students that are in the Food for Thought program? Yes, we're a little over 400 right now. Um, we're serving four of the elementary schools and the middle school. We're getting ready to send out permission slips to the high school and to pre-K and um, some of the private schools like New Hope and um, the Community Christian Academy. And so we're expecting within the next month or so to have over 600 students. Wow. And do you think that this is a sign for the economy, or what do you think is going on with this? Um, most definitely. We, we can tell that as the economy has worsened, the numbers have just increased dramatically. And so, um, you know, until the economy gets better, we just expect to see more and more kids on the program. Um, also, it has to do with the fact that we're getting a little more publicity, a little more community support. And so parents are starting to realize that the program's out there for their benefit. And so we get more students that way, that way too. But we do, we have a lot of... Um, parents that tell us with their benefits being cut, food stamps and things like that, that this program is, is what keeps them going. It's very important. It's really true. A lot of people don't realize when people are um, getting some kind of uh, uh, government help, there's been some cutbacks. There's been some changes in that where they're not able to actually uh, live. I know one of the big cutbacks, uh, being the electrical um, help and the utility help, they've now raised the bar. So people are having to actually uh, subsidize that electric bill when before they weren't able to do that. Right, and and we do have what's called, uh, you know, the working poor here. It's a really big problem here in Pahrump. We have parents and people that want to work and they have a job, but unfortunately the jobs just don't quite cut it and, and then they lose that assistance and um, so then food is something they can't afford. So the program's really important for that. That's true. They're right on the border of getting assistance and uh, keeping their job and uh, sometimes you just take the job that you can. So we have a lot of people out there who are actually doing the best that they can, but they just need a little bit of help. Valley Electric and Desert View actually reached out and did this. How can a regular citizen reach out and help out the Food for Thought program? Um, well, we take donations of food always, um, and those can be dropped off at Cup of Faith Christian uh, Bookstore and now at Sunflower Fashion. She's also accepting donations for us. Um, we need uh, anything that you would put in a lunch, individually packaged and pop top items, um, things that you would normally put in a lunch, raviolis, um, ramen noodle, noodle soups, uh, Vienna sausages, things like that. We take pudding because they have calcium. Raisins are always needed because they have iron. Uh, cheese and crackers and peanut butter and crackers, really important. So any of those items that people want to donate, that would be great. Um, we also take monetary donations and um, we're accepting those through a PayPal account through Kiwanis, Pahrump Kiwanis, and it's um, kvpc.org. And um, there's a link on their website for Food for Thought. So you just go on there and then you can donate um, monetary. And then that way, that helps us to go get what we need because sometimes we get donations, we get a lot of ramen noodles and we don't have anything else. So that way we can go buy what we need.